Hello people, what is up? Today we are doing a Warframe leveling method. This replaces the stealth method. It's very easy to do and it's very fast. Um, this is not my video idea. I saw this video showcased on another channel. However, I thought they missed out some stuff they could have shown. So I'm doing my own idea. Credits to the original in the description. Check it out if you want to. This does require Helminth and an Augment mod. However, it does not require stealth leveling or AoE. And this does not work for weapons, it's only Warframes. If you like the video, subscribe, like, comment, you know, do all that jazz. Let's see if we can get 350 subs. Uh, and let's get into it. Okay, so the synergy we're covering today is Nova's first ability being Null Star and the Augment mod Neutron Star. Now, this Augment is actually really insane. And we use this to nuke maps on any frame. So this is Nova's Helminth ability, and as you can see I've put it on Protea for this. However, because I have Protea, I'm going to be using another example later on. So I put it on the first ability, and then as soon as you put a former on, you want to put some sort of build like this. So Prime Flow, Preparation, and then Range Mods. And if you can, Slot Strength Mods, because obviously they're useful. But uh, Duration is not really needed. It's nice, but it's not needed. So we just go for a big nuke build. Now the theory behind this is very similar to Thermal Sunder, however this method actually destroys nullifiers, so it doesn't matter whether there's a nullifier on the tile set or not, you're still going to nuke the hell out of the map. So this is a really good method. Okay, so the way this augment works, you cast your thing, and then you cast it again, and it hits enemies, and it can hit enemies through walls. And we use this to absolutely spam. And as you can see, it racks up a lot of heat procs. Now these are probably the most armored target in the game, so it's not going to kill them. But for the stuff in Sanctuary Onslaught and Elite, it just absolutely destroys them. So yeah. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put a former on my Corva Prime, so we're unranked. Now the first thing is put Null Star on the first ability. First reason is because Cephalon... Samaras does not turn off the first ability for whatever reason. And the second reason is after you former, this should be the highest level ability, usually level 3, which means you get more range, more damage, etc. And as you can see, I just slotted all these mods together. Um, only one of them is in the correct former, so yeah, and now we're ready to go nuke. So because we have a rank 0 frame, we have to go into Sanctuary Onslaught, and I'm going to be doing this in invite only. Okay, so we're here. First step, press 1, and just spam 1. And there you go. Simple as that. Now, the more kills you get with this as you go along through the mission, the more damage you're going to do because of mods augmented. And obviously, the smaller the tile set, the faster this will go for you. Now, because we're getting kills with abilities, 100% of the affinity from these kills is going to my frame, which is a little bit different to the stealth method where 50% was going to the weapon. And another positive of this method is that it's very consistent as opposed to the stealth leveling, as you don't need to preserve some sort of multiplier. You just walk around and you press 1, and then it's, it's game over, basically. Whereas the stealth method, you might lose the multiplier three times and not max out because of that. Obviously, remember to bring a Smee to Kavat, and you, for the chance to proc that affinity bonus. Alright, and so after one wave of Sanctuary Onslaught, with no Kavat bonus and only a booster, we have rank 27 on our Korra. Now this was a bad tile set, so with a smaller tile set you'll be able to kill more and more enemies and obviously reach 30. You could just restart the Sanctuary Onslaught and abort as soon as you hit 30. Alright, and that's really all there is to this combination. It's that simple. And this combination is extremely strong on Ember Prime or Ember purely because of her passive which gives 5% ability strength for every enemy engulfed in fire and obviously this procs fire on literally everything in a 100 meter radius so this becomes an extremely strong technique to nuke with Ember and obviously Fireball is a very useless ability so just get rid of Fireball. Hope you found it useful, and if you did, remember to like, sub, comment, do all that stuff. I'll answer any questions in the comments, I don't mind, I always reply to them. So yeah, catch you guys in the next one, peace out.